So, we ended last episode on kind of a cliffhanger. Um, yeah, now I'm in my creative world for, like, just building for this season. So, this is uh, what I think I want the front entrance to look like. We're using smooth sandstone, nether bricks, honey, glowstone, um, maybe a few other materials. I'm not 100% sure yet, but this is, this looks pretty good to me. The main reason I'm here is I wanted to show you the storage system that I've been working on. So, yeah. Um, I think you saw part of this in the last episode, but this is one full module uh, out of eight. Um, and then this, this was probably the hardest part that I had to do. This is the redstone for the hexadecimal converter. So it will take an output. So let's say I want press 4, it'll be 0, 1, 0, 0, um, 4, yeah, there we go, 0, 1, 0, 0, uh, and then basically that can send a signal, so it can, uh, it's kind of complicated, but I'll just go over this one line, um, so it, uh, let's say we turn this line on now, so now we take the signal, the signal comes in through that, um, and this line will basically just power all the pistons on this line. Um, so you see that the power is coming through, um, first it's coming through that piston, so this piston is off, um, now it goes through this piston, that piston is on, so that's 0, 1. Uh, now this piston, this piston is on, 0, 1, 1. Uh, and then this piston's on, so 0, 1, 1. And then this one's off, so 0. Um, so the 4 that I pushed up here, the top part will actually kind of be controlling which module it will go to. So that was actually just taking signal from some tests I did earlier. So you'll see that it's 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Uh, and then that was the code for the chest that I had selected. So yeah, um, my storage system is working. Uh, I've got the front of my base planned out. So I'm going to start building this um, in my survival world now. Um, one last thing before we start going into it, in my actual world, uh, I'd figure I'd just go through the basics on how this works. So what happens is that each button is corresponding to four different possible um, like powering signals. It's kind of hard to explain, um, but I can show you this. Uh, that's not right. This should be 0 and then 0, 0, 0, 0. Um, but when I press 0, none of these turn on. Um, when I press 1, only the furthest right one should turn on. Um, 2, uh, off, off, on, off. 3, off, off, on, on, and so on. So basically how I do that is I just... Uh, I tried to separate the signals from the top and the bottom as far as I could. So these are all of the signals coming out from the bottom buttons. Uh, and then these are all the signals coming out from the top buttons. Uh, and so basically right here, this is just a mess of wiring. Um, but basically what it does is it just hooks up all of the... It just hooks up all of the different buttons like here if we follow this this 1000 line um, you can see it comes down here uh, and then it takes power from here which comes from here uh, and then that basically just takes signal from these top four repeaters um, and I was actually having problems here so I did something different so instead of having this be powered um, I use this repeater coming through to then power this redstone right here. Um, and then it's also linked up to these four repeaters right here. 
Um, and so since it's the one thousandths place, that is actually the furthest right one. So it should only be turning on when we have something pressed from 8 to F. Um, so basically it only turns on when we press one of these eight buttons. Um, and then the, the, the actual sorting element uh, of the system is a lot more simple. Basically we just take an input, we put it through a series of pistons, uh, and these pistons get turned on by the like these these lead directly back into the repeaters so the repeaters are choosing which pistons to power um, so let's say this piston is chosen not to be powered the signal will go through here all the way to here now this piston has chosen to be powered so the system will now go into here instead of going through here because the block uh, is getting powered and then brought back to here. Uh, this piston is being powered, so that means that the signal will come through here and go through this block to here. Um, and then the signal will come down to here, uh, power through this block, and now this piston is not powered, so the signal will go into this block. Uh, so it will fire things from this dropper into the ice, uh, and then this this will just link right back up to over here um, yeah and then we get our items so that's just the basic explanation um, if anyone wants to see kind of a tutorial on how to do this um, I guess I can do that but it would be very long and I'd probably make a lot of mistakes oh and uh, this extra part back here this is for choosing between modules so I want to have eight of these big modules so this part back here will be choosing between this module, uh, another module, um, yeah, and then just some other modules. So yeah, that's that's the basics of this. Um, and just let me know if you you want to see something for this uh, this storage system. All right, hello everyone. So it's probably been a while since I last saw you. Um, but I have completely finished the uh, hexadecimal converter. Um, so, like we've went over before, it basically just takes a 4-bit signal from each, so it spits it through a series of repeaters that will help it power each different um, bit that it needs to power to locate which module it's and which item it's eventually choosing, but yeah, it's it's done. I have not built any of the storage yet because I wanted to be able to know where I could put the uh, hexadecimal before. Like I I would know where I would be able to put it because of the um, amount of space I have. Um, but yeah, also this is my. This is the area we talked about in the last episode. This is where my portal links to from Bee Farm. Um, and yeah, so... Uh, I want to incorporate more honeycomb and honey into my building. Uh, and this is also going to be where my nether, like my nether hub is. So up here along with the Hogland Farm, I want to have a gold farm later. Um, and probably also a big um, piglin bartering farm. Uh, but this is just me talking about the rest of the season. Um, and yeah, for now, that's it. But uh, I'm probably going to start building the storage now. So, yeah. See you guys. So, Don and I are going to be participating in a PvP tournament. Um, so, right now, we actually decided that we were going to... Uh, we were going to do a little bit of PvP. Um, so I'll record that, and I think it's going to be at my base. So we're just going to, like, uh, I'm going to grab this chest. I'm going to make a bunch of, uh, I'll make a bunch of, like, food and uh, leave just chests all over with, like, I don't know, probably 
a few bread, maybe a few potions. Ooh, that was smooth. It went straight through the door. But yeah. Um, so, since the last clip, I've been working on the circuitry, so... I mean, I haven't built any storage yet, but this is essential in deciding which which unit it wants to go to. Um, and then, this is the item, like... This basically... Whenever I flip the lever, the signal comes up to this glass elevator. Sends a one-tick pulse through this um, monostable circuit. Um, and then that starts a hopper clock. This hopper clock has 17 items, which is exactly enough um, time for a comparator clock to uh, spit out 64 items. So if I put a dropper right here, then just right above it, it would spit out 64 items. Um, and then this is the signal that's going to be snaking through and then eventually just going into one dropper. And that one dropper will be decided by um, whatever repeaters are on or off here. So that's, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's the basic of the distribution system. So yeah, I'll build up the, uh, the, I'll, I'll just finish building up the actual storage part and then, um, yeah, that'll probably be it for this episode. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and finished the uh, wiring for two whole modules, so basically all of these are just connected to the pistons. Um, and I know I said I wanted to finish this this episode, but Rome wasn't built in the day. The storage system is extremely ambitious. It's taken me a lot of time, cleared out my resources multiple times. So I'm going to go ahead and ep end the episode here. I'm going to be grinding for more sandstone, redstone, birch, um... Yeah, in between episodes, so, yeah, um, see you guys.